Let me ask you something, right? <clears throat> it's been a time, right, when I had the flag and I gave people the flag, and then I realized when they had the flag, they didn't even want to look at me. You ever went through that? Like, meaning, like, when you had the, the biggest stage in your life, mm -hmm. you gave somebody or you shared that stage with somebody. Has there ever been a time when that same person had that time in their life? Well, I love that it, question because they it ties it back to what we were talking about with Young Thug. That's yeah. why I love Young Thug. Okay. And if I wasn't to make it to tomorrow, right. Young Thug got to know right. that he the realest person that I ever dealt with. Because remember, I showed him that love, like I told you about. Right. When, he reciprocated it. Boom. When it was a time when um, I came to his show in L.A., maybe three years ago, something like that, two years ago, I don't know. And, um, you know, I'm there. I'm support. I love him. He's the greatest. He's one of the best artists on the earth right. to me. Right. You know, and, you know, I'm supporting him as love or whatever. Like, I bought him stuff for his birthday right. or whatever. I love his sisters mm -hmm. or whatever. I, I, I love the family. I love his mom. I'm cool with his mama. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It's love. Like, I, I got the utmost respect. Duke. Gunner, all these people. Like, I've known Gunner before. Gunner was part of YSL. I knew him when he was coming up and trying to figure it out. You uh, know what I'm saying? Like, uh, coming at Fly Kicks, uh, which was a dope store in Atlanta off Peter Street. Uh, or whatever. I've seen these people come up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, I, like, when they make it, uh, to me, that gets me fucking excited. Uh, because that's what I care about. Uh, I don't care about being the best. Uh, Nigga, I'm an immigrant. Not from America. So Young Thug showed you love back. So boom, he's doing his show, uh -huh. or whatever. Like I'm there for a long time. You know, when you come to somebody's show, you might come too early, uh -huh. and uh, he don't go on till he ready to go on. Uh -huh. And you done being there, you seen every opening and act, uh -huh. or whatever yeah, he, he comes gets on. Mad at me every time I go. Right? He's boom, the I earliest nigga in the building. <laughs> I done yeah. seen everybody before. He be in there when they clean it up. It's a, secu <laughs> it's a security uh -huh. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Security. He like right? it. He want to have his gun inside. He's, he's a bad nigga. But he's uh, gangsters. He's a, yeah, yeah. So boom, mm -hmm. you know, he's performing. I whatever. I was like, you know what? I've seen. Because I've been to numerous Young Thug shows. I've seen the show. You know, boom, I appreciate it. I got things to do. I leave out. I, I leave the show. Uh -huh. I run get ready to leave. Somebody run out. Like, hey, bro, Young Thug wants you to come perform. Uh -huh. Or whatever. So we got to run back in. Uh -huh. Boom, 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 boom. And he bring me out to perform in front of his L.A. crowd, wow. which at the time was a big deal, um, according to what project Still it was. Still is a big deal. It was, no, no, it was amazing. Uh -huh. You know, and it's just things like that. To me, that's the realest shit that ever happened. That's the that's like Let that's me ask you a question because we gotta get out of here dope. soon. But is that is that one of the only people that you show love, or is there other people that showed you love that after a time? Because like, listen, and break it down. Oh, let me stop. Let me not even go there. Go ahead, go there, man. Nah, but like, you done went there already, my nigga. There's a lot of people in reggaeton I show love to that when they had that same chance, they didn't show a love to me back. There's a lot of people in rap that did the same chance. Right. I mean, it's, it's, I can't say in rap because rap I circled around too many times. Right. But I would need to ask you, is there anybody that like you show super love to and then you was disappointed to when it came time for you to receive that uh, reciprocal love, the, your 40 acres and your mule, for, 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 for lack of a better term? Well... I don't look at it as a 40 acres and a mule. I look at it as a mutual respect, right. you know, to be reciprocated. Like right now, can you get Jeezy on the record? No. Oh, T.I., no. Damn. Are you sure? Two chains, Are no. you sure? Have you asked? I haven't asked. But you don't know. Don't say no for sure. I like, like EFS. Because maybe they would. I you, love that energy. I, I love that energy. 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 Just shut it out because no, it's, it's not money. shut out. It's but not shut out. Do you feel out. that you don't want to be told no, so you'd rather just not ask? I don't. I don't like the. I don't like the answer no. Right. Right. Because if I say yes to you, it's so one hundred and ten thousand percent, and it's not just I'm saying yes to. I'm nobody's right. yes man. Right. That if I ask you for something, I'm not trying to come up off of your fame or whoever right. you are. Right. I'm right. literally, I love music. Right. I'm an incredible producer right. of records. That's why I do really good in the writing world. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got a number one last year with Queen Nigel yeah. right. writing right. records. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, I love music. I love making people be better. Right. Like I said, my background is being a stylist. What right. is a stylist's job? To make you feel better right. about right. yourself going right. out. Right. So that's my background. Mm. So if I ask you to do something, dog, I'm a grown ass man. I'm asking you something because it's going to help all of us. Somebody you asked to do something and they didn't do it. So to answer, I'm sorry. To answer your question, yeah, I feel like August I've seen it off top. Off top, I'm gonna go there because I felt that 
And I understand why it went that way. And this is before the entanglement? <laughs> this is before the entanglement. Entanglement. This is before the entanglement. He's like, before and after. This is before the entanglement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if we're gonna, if we're gonna go there, let's go we gotta there. go there. We let's go there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, August Alcina. You was there for August Alcina. I feel like I was. And what happened? What'd and when it was time to come back around, I felt that the industry captivated them and it really hurt that brother. And that, uh, that affected the way that he treated somebody who was actually genuine with him because he couldn't trust nobody. But you say this is after because you, after, all right, there's, Wait, somewhere, there's something called like the poo poo juice, right? Yeah. Like after you get dropped, and anybody get dropped from the label, you got the poo poo juice. Right. You, it, was it the time you had the poo-poo juice? Because I had like 2014. The poo-poo juice? Yeah. No, I, I understand where he's coming from. Yeah. So let me give you an you update. The coolies. You got the coolies. No, no, no. no, no. Right. So let me give you an update on the poo-poo juice. That's the same thing. No, let me give you an update on the poo-poo juice. <laughs> poo-poo juice. So poo-poo juice is popular so right now. Boom, I, tweeted to, I tweeted to people or whatever that boom, boom, boom. People think Def Jam never dropped me. They never dropped me. Wow. That's a fact. I would love a nigga that Def Jam to tell me that they dropped me. Ooh. I would love a nigga Def Jam to tell me they dropped Talk me. that talk! Yeah. I would love it. Talk that talk! The actual reality of the situation is that I requested from 2015, and it took two years for them to be like, all right, we'll let you go. I requested to be let go of the label, to be let off the label, because nobody was there for me. Right. Period. Nobody has never been there for me. I had to be there for me which I'm not complaining about because right now, in this very moment, I'm there for me. Mm. And that's what it's about. Like Kanye ain't never helped out nobody. Kanye reached out. Kanye okay. reached out. I remember Kanye reached out. I feel like Kanye do. will feel Kanye you. reached out or whatever, but I just feel that I, you see, think of people, you see, think about it, it's like, bro, I respect you. you you're Nori right. to me. I respect you. Right. I respect but you. if the way that you approach me is not respectable, then I ain't gonna deal with you, bro. What you mean? So Kanye came to you? So Kanye, Kanye reached out through his mans, who was my mans, to do John something Monopoly? for me. My mans, okay. right? And the way that he reached out for me to do something for him, I felt like he didn't care about me. I, I got tired and I already went through this with T.I. I went through this with Jeezy, where I felt like these OGs, cause to me, I'm from Atlanta, bro. These are OGs to me. You're not a hot rapper to me. You're an OG who's a legend. You up there with, you know, who, how I look at Andre, how I look at Big Boy, how I look at CeeLo, mm. you know, how I look at Dungeon Family. Mm. So it's like, bro, these people always gave me knowledge. Mm. Like, the first thing I asked Andre, he did say no to it, but he still gave me knowledge that made me a better artist. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Right. And I couldn't get that from them. And maybe that's not how they parent. Right. You know, maybe that's not how their parenting skills go. Right. Or whatever. I, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still a young brother trying to figure it out. Right. And they knew that. Right. They knew that. If you Who meet me... Who we talking me, about again? Huh? Who we talking about? We talking about all those people. We talking about the the T.I.s, the Jeezys, uh-huh. these people uh, that for are from our past. We're, great, we we're in a great place now. For us in New York, we realize, we think that... They're not from New York. Get, no, no, no. Us in New York, we look at y'all like y'all all get along. Everybody, new artists, you got the biggest burger, uh, record in the world, they all co signing you. You're talking about Atlanta. Bro, so Atlanta that's, that's what we did. That's Spin, how we did. Spin King said that. He said it earlier where it's the meme where it's like Atlanta artists. Support. Everybody get together. I'm, yeah. I'm going to tell you this, and if I'm wrong, you know, you like I, 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 I live for it. I live for it. I live for it. Or whatever. That's not true, bro. Right. Yeah, the Everybody, whole thing it's not true for the city. That's that bullshit. It's not true That's really bullshit. That's really that's how we look at it from New York, though. That's, that's how we do it. No, 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 no. It's not true for The reason city. why the meme was made is because that's the way people see it. Because because but but if you really know... People are like, look at the niggas over there. Because you see the remix, and it's like fatherland and niggas on one song. It's opportunity. Opportunity and support is two different things, my brothers. Opportunity and support is two different things. Maybe Atlanta's approach is different. My nigga, you got to come do my remix. Atlanta's approach is different. If I can make you more lit... Then you have to do my remix, my right. nigga. You fire me Respectfully. Now. Right. It's the approach. It's the approach. Now. Respectfully. I need one more glass, please, and I'm out of here. Respectfully. You know, know what I'm saying? Oh, and, that, and that's just what it is. And I got another shot. That's, that's just it. It is what it is. Shot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up. But, I mean, you know, where we at now, you know, those are all lessons. You know, we're talking yeah. about the past. Right. And I'm a person, to be honest with you, Nori, yeah. I don't live in the past. I don't think about the past. So right. my success, all the plaques that I got in my crib and all that, I don't even, they're not even put up on the wall. 
Because I don't live for that. I live yeah, for what honest. can I do new. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Like where I'm at now. I want you to put them plaques up. Why? Put Tell them plaques up because you got to know how feel you how dope it feels. Like when I walk around my crib, excuse me, I don't even have them inside my crib. I have them on my, what's that shit called? The foyer. I don't know, I have one. You know, when I get <laughs> on, I, I a four year, right? It's right there. It's just a little, uh, you know, like, all right, boom. Right. But it just makes me feel good because, I don't know, like, I just like it. I like it. You got to understand that you have accomplished some shit. Sometimes you put your accomplishments to the side because you're always thinking about the future, but right. never think about what you did to get here. True. Never not, never, dis, never downplay the shit you got to get here. Right. Yeah, reflect you just, on the journey so that you can see the future. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. The, the journey is super important to me. And, and yes. it lives in my mind, and I know it. But like I said, I really, like I said, right now with all these people, in my personal opinion, like we were just all together not too long ago, referring to like the two chains. And, you know, I see Jeezy from time to time. Like, my respect for these people, it don't change. But yeah. how they treated me, I just didn't appreciate it at the time because I didn't understand what was going nah, you on. You were the rookie in the game, bro. I, and I was. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, when you're a rookie, you're going to make rookie, rookie mistakes. Right. right. 